Harbor Freight has just released this brand new handheld steamer from their Grants lineup. So this little 1200 watt handheld steamer is coming in at a incredible price of $34.99. But after doing a little bit of research on Amazon and looking at the McCulloch, I think it's the MC1230 handheld, something like that, I can't remember the exact name of it, but their handheld, the McCulloch runs about 50 bucks, but it does have some more uh, accessories than this one does. And then you can find some other options on Amazon at that same price point of, you know, between 30 and 40 bucks for a similar spec item. But if the product's not good, then it's really not worth anything, right? So we're gonna pop this thing open, check out what it comes with, look at the build quality. Uh, we're also going to test the runtime of how much actual steam production time we get. And so we can actually judge how much work we'll be able to get done with that. And then we'll go ahead and start doing some cleaning with it to see what I think. Now I've done some videos in the past about some budget friendly, kind of more traditional styled steam cleaners, little canister with the longer hose. Um, so if you guys are interested in that, I have a video series, I'll put, uh, put it up here for you guys so you can check those out. Uh, my favorite is the Wagner, um, but the, the McCulloch's a great unit. The other one, the Central Machinery that you can also get at Harbor Freight, also a good unit. You can check that out, but let's go ahead and jump into this thing. So let's go ahead and get started by unboxing this thing. So I'm just gonna flip it on its side open it up here and check out the contents of this exact steamer. Obviously it does, you know, kind of show exactly what it comes with. So not a big deal there, um, but we, we can kind of just uh, assess more of the build quality of this thing as we go. Okay guys, so here it is. Again, I think it's a really good looking unit. It's sort of a satin slash matte finish red. They're really going after that Griot's garage look here on this thing, but it looks fantastic. The build quality feels good. It's a nice, you know, it's plastic, but it's hard plastic. Obviously the internals are brass, um, so you, it'll actually withhold that steam. Um, let's see here. We're gonna go ahead and run through the accessories that it comes with. Obviously you have the steam cleaner itself, uh, followed by a long spray nozzle that you just clicks into here. And as you can see, brass connections at the point again. Um, then we move into some, well, we have basic, you know, a little fill cup, a little uh, funnel that you can use so you don't spill everything. A little uh, knit terry microfiber-ish thing that you can actually put on some of the extensions, which is nice for cleaning. Now they state that this thing has a max temperature of 212 degrees. Uh, so obviously that'll produce plenty of steam. Um, moving along to the ex uh, more accessories. We also have two nylon brush accessories, a little uh, angled nozzle that you can just put onto the tip of this and it'll give you just a nice angle to it. We also have a scraper for gum or whatever else. So the steam will come through those holes and you have a nice hard scraper that you can go through. Then we have this piece here, the general spray nozzle. And this is really cool. And it'll just go onto the, onto the tip there or onto the extension. Uh, but this is great because you can actually, you, you can see the uh, one, two, three, four, five nozzles. So it's gonna have a nice dispersed steam pattern. And then you can wrap this over the top. This goes right over the top so you can actually get in there and scrub uh, if you're doing interiors, upholstery, or anything like that. That'll be really, really cool. And then I'm sure you can probably find extra ones of those as well. And then we do have the extension nozzle also. So you have a little bit more um, reach or you know just a little more flexibility to whatever you're trying to clean. And finally, we have the uh, window extension. So this actually just loops, you can see these little tabs on the back here. This just sits in those back tabs. This will click down. It's hard to do one-handed, but you get the idea. And then you have the same thing. The steam will come through there and you have this nice little silicone blade here to clean windows and things like that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do the full setup. Fill it up with water and all that kind of good stuff. And I was just reading through the instructions and that brings me to concern number one. And that is going to be in regards to the runtime of this thing. So right on the box, as you can see here, it says 1200 watts, 11.5 fluid ounces. On the fill instructions, it says fill the measuring cup with distilled water, distilled or deionized water. The reason they want that is because other, uh, you know, just from your garden hose or even from your sink, it can have minerals and other types of deposit, in the, excuse me, deposits in there, which could mess with the heating element or the nozzles that could clog them up over time. Um, you know, yeah you, yeah, you could use regular water, just don't expect it to last as long. Definitely recommend distilled water or deionized water. But back to the, uh, the filling instructions. Fill the measuring cup, this guy here, with distilled water no higher than the 250 milliliter mark, which is pretty much the max, like it's, it's all the way up here. Um, but 250 milliliters is not 11.5 ounces, that's about eight and a half ounces. 
So I, I don't know, I, I, maybe you need the rest of that, just you know, a little bit of uh, space in there to generate the steam, which makes sense. But again, eight and a half ounces of water is not gonna run that long, I, I wouldn't think. So we will test that. I'm just gonna basically get this thing filled up. We'll see how long it takes to heat up and then we will just fire it on and let it run and see how long it runs. Okay guys, so I went ahead and filled up 250 milliliters of the water. We're gonna go ahead and take the cone. I'm just gonna make sure there's no cardboard remnants on there. I don't want that filling up in there. So we're gonna put that there and then we will pour this in. I like this little nozzle on it. It makes it like, it, you can see it comes out really, really nice and clean. Uh, so I like that, it, that's nice. Nothing, <laughs> you know, it's not like a crazy innovation, but um, I just figured I'd mention it, it does work well. Whoop, apparently you don't wanna fill it up too fast. Alrighty, there we go. Let's go ahead and put this stuff to the side. We're gonna take the cap now. As, as you can see, there's a little O-ring on it, so it seals up nicely. We're gonna go ahead and close this guy up. Um, let's see here, what nozzle do we wanna use for this purpose? Let's just go ahead and use this nozzle here. Now, when we're gonna go ahead and install the nozzle, there's two little markings here and two little markings up top. And I, it, it, it's, you can see these little parts here. On the inside, there's little tabs. So you wanna put it on kind of sideways get it to seat down and then turn it. Let's see if I can get it going. There we go. And once it's all set up, it'll be lined up. So that's all good to go. All right, let's go ahead and fire this thing on. I'm gonna set up a timer and we will test to see how long it takes to heat up. And also guys, you do have your heating indicators down here on the side. So keep an eye on those. It should be, uh, I haven't read the instructions, but normally it's just red when it's charging up and once it's ready to steam, it'll turn green. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Plugged in, there you go, it's red, means it's starting to heat up, starting to do its thing. We're gonna get a stopwatch going here. There we go, so we're at 30, yeah, that's about right. We'll, we'll, take, we'll subtract um, about 30 seconds from that. I don't know why it was at 30 seconds, but. Oh guys, it just turned green. Let's see here, three minutes exactly. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start spraying. Now, it's very typical, and it even states it in the uh, user manual that spurting of just water is very common, it's, it's, it's expected. It takes a little bit of time for it to kind of even out and get going. So here we go guys, let me readjust the camera for you so you can see a little bit better. So here we go, we're gonna test the runtime of this. Again, not on and off, just pure straight steam. I'm gonna start my stopwatch and then pull the trigger. Here we go. Pretty much immediate steam, it's not spurting very much. Any um, hot water. Now, there is no locking mechanism, which is unfortunate for me that I have to hold this thing. Pressure to hold down the steam trigger, a lot. It, it actually wants to kind of spring back. I'm probably fighting the pressure of the unit itself, of the buildup, but man, that is uh, not super comfortable. Decent amount of pressure from it. Obviously the, mo the hottest portion's right at the tip. Um, you know, I'm six inches out right now and it's warm. Um, but they do stay for sanitizing. You want to go like half an inch. I believe they said half an inch um, from the nozzle and then hold it there for five seconds. So that'll generate enough heat to kill bacteria, I guess. Um, I typically like to use these within my detailing business. Just I'll, I'll still pre-treat the area with a chemical uh, and then rinse everything down and kind of mop everything up with a steamer. I'm not a huge steam cleaner guy, um, but I do like this little handheld unit as long as it's going to run long enough for me to get the work done. Again, guys, it is a lot of pressure on my hand to hold this down. It, my hand's starting to cramp up, starting to hurt. Um, but again, we're trying to see how long this will actually run. So hopefully you guys can even see the steam. It's not, I mean, it's obviously not a huge plum of steam uh, burst coming out. However, I am in my garage. This is a temperature controlled garage. I have the heater on. So if it was colder out, this would obviously look like a lot more. Um, but it's a quite dry steam. Um, let me grab my phone here, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray it onto my countertop so you guys can see how dry the steam is. Man, this thing is hard to hold down though, I tell you. All right, guys, so uh, let's put, obviously there's some water drops there, but let's just go ahead and put it here. So not a lot of water content coming out there. It is very, very dry steam, which I do like. Guys, I've got some drips here from the nozzle or in the, the rear where this is supposed to seat down. It's, it's properly installed, but it is dripping from there. Now, it may be because I am 
continuously running this thing, so it's building up condensation there. Again, if you're on and off, um, you're not gonna have that issue, but just something to note, it is dripping from that point. And there we go, guys. So we are at, man, eight minutes and 15 seconds, essentially. It's a little over that, but we're calling it an end there. So we're out, that's empty. So we're gonna go ahead now and unplug the machine. You wanna let it sit, you wanna let that pressure out, right? You wanna let it sit, reduce the heat, reduce the pressure before you try and open this, otherwise it can steam out really hot. So uh, just give it a bit, and then what we're gonna do now is now that we know it was, we'll, we'll call it eight minutes, right? Eight minutes of steam production, which is really, really impressive for eight and a half ounces. That means an ounce a minute. That's crazy, it's like barely anything. Um, so I like that, that seems pretty efficient to me. Um, now we're gonna go ahead and refill it, go around the house, try and clean some stuff up and see how I like it. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and get into some real, real world life conditions uh, and actually test this thing. Uh, but one of the things that I wanted to note is I just read the manual, it states a six and a half minute runtime. So the fact that we got eight minutes is awesome. I love when companies don't overshoot that estimate, right? They actually come in under, really, really cool. So another thing that I was wondering is can you use this unplugged? It comes with a nine and a half foot uh, power cord, which is fine, I guess. Most, most places you're gonna be using, there's gonna be an outlet near you. But I wanted to know, can I unplug it and still get the foam production? So let's go ahead and see. So there's my foam. <laughs> foam, steam, excuse me. So there's the steam. As you can see, it's still on. I'm gonna unplug the unit. Now, there's no reason that it shouldn't still work. Is the steam production going to last as long? No, because the heating element is now off. But if you needed something where you're like, hey, it's out in the, di in the distance, this is all sealed up right now. So you'll have some time to work with it, which is a really cool feature, I think. But for our purposes, um, I'm gonna plug this back in and I'm gonna show you a couple different situations that I really like using a steamer. Um, mostly, we'll get out there in a second. Okay guys, so here I am and hopefully you can see this okay, but one of my favorite things to do with the steam cleaner is to clean out the ventilation system of a vehicle. So basically, uh, I may have to turn the car on, I don't remember, let me, you can usually just stick it into it, spray, and as you can see, it starts coming out of all the other vents, right? So we're getting steam throughout the entire ventilation system, really breaking down any bacteria. Obviously it's not as hot as I would like it because by the time the steam gets over here, it's not as hot, but at least it's blowing out. You can see the residual there. Um, after that, I'll start the car, make sure it all blows out so we're not leaving any condensation in there. But that is one thing that I absolutely love to do with the steam cleaner. Okay, so another part that I know a lot of people like to use the steamer for, I personally don't use it, but they use it on glass, right? Shower doors, all that kind of stuff. So as you can see, my car, the, this is one of my work vans. You can see the line here, the, the windshield is quite dirty. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the extension here and the uh, window cleaning piece. We're gonna clip this on, like so. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up to the steamer and then we'll hit that part and see how it works. So as you guys can see now, the steam comes out of all those, again, I think it was five ports, so really cool. Let's go ahead and fire the steamer on and just hit this one section and see how it goes. I mean, you know, again, this isn't something that I use this for personally, but I wanted to test it just to see. Okay, I don't know if you guys can tell, but that streak of uh, area on the windshield is clean now. So I'm gonna go ahead and take you guys closer in now with my phone so we can really see, hopefully this picks it up. I don't know if it is. Honestly, it doesn't look like it is. <laughs> Let me try and go around another angle. So right there, you guys can see, it is clean now, right there. Um, is that super impressive? No, not really. Honestly, this isn't terrible. It's not lime scale deposits or anything like that. So, but it did do a good job. Okay guys, now we are in the entry from the kind of formal living area into the kitchen of my home here. And there is some stuff that's been here. So this, I, I noticed this yesterday, I mentioned it to my wife, I told her leave it there, I wanna test out the steamer on that. So I'm gonna take a closer up video again for you guys so you can see exactly what this is. So right there, I don't know if one of my kids dropped something or whatever, um, 
but it's definitely textured and, and on there pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit that freely with the steamer for a little bit, try and break that up, and then I'm gonna use the attachment with the microfiber piece and try and mop it up. Because this is, I mean, a chemical will definitely take this off, right? Um, if I use like an all-purpose cleaner or something like that, that'll definitely break through this and get it off. But the whole purpose of the steamer is trying to reduce your chemical usage. So let's see if it works. Okay, so I still have this attachment on here and I am going to be using this. Um, and I'm going to be putting that little microfiber bonnet on it. Bonnet on it. Uh, so let's just go ahead and slide that over the top. Like so. And now I have a nice little mopping device, right? So let's see here. If there's any other place that it can snap into. No, that's good. So there you go. And you can hit the steam. It's gonna saturate and come out of there, right? Really, really cool. But before I do that, I wanna just agitate this a little bit. Now, again, we have that scraper attachment, right? This guy here that has, it, it lets the steam out there and then I can scrape. I don't wanna do that. These are hardwood floors. I don't wanna do that on this flooring. We also have the nylon brush attachment. Again, I just don't wanna scratch the floors. So I don't wanna do that as well. So what I'm gonna do uh, is just use this little angled attachment. And the reason I wanna do that is because I wanna test and see how hard or how well these uh, stay on in place. Now, just for, for, for safety, they do recommend you turn the unit off before changing out the tips, um, just so you don't get blasted with steam, but at least put it in the lock mechanism so it's not gonna blast you. And then I can just back this off, okay? Got a little drip there, but not a big deal. This is just going to push on. It is a very snug fit. Doesn't twist on or anything like that, it's just, just on there, but it feels like it's a really, really good fit. So let's see if you guys can see that. Looks really good. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use it like that first to try and break this up and then we'll move on to the uh, little mop extension. All right guys, let me get this out of the way a little bit. Okay, so we got this little piece here. Again, it's all right here. I'm gonna fire it on and just start hitting it. Off. Hopefully you guys can see this. The majority of that just got blasted away so fast and easy, just liquefied. That was awesome. There's a couple spots that weren't, but um, as you can see guys, like it doesn't want to come up super easily. So the fact that this thing is just blasting through this right now is incredible. Just hit this spot as well. Okay, good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this off. Good. Switch over to the little mop piece again. Just goes on sideways, twists on, and here we go. Here we go, guys. You can see it's mopping. Now I'm actually gonna stop the steam now and just go over it a couple times just to try and pick up the residual stuff here. Yeah, look at that. Absolutely filthy. See if you guys can see that. Just from those couple passes. So it did an absolutely phenomenal job picking all that stuff up. Uh, let me go ahead and wipe this up real quick. Just gonna use a paper towel just to mop this up really quickly so we can actually see the end result here. Let it dry out. And there you go, guys. It's all gone perfectly clean. I'm very, very happy with that. Again, we're able to, to do the cleanup without any chemical on, on that. So that was fantastic. Okay, now last but not least, another spot that I know people love to use a steamer on is cleaning up like around the stove or your barbecue grill. Uh, so for that, I have switched over to the brush attachment. Now this is a nylon brush, guys, so that's not gonna be the ideal. Sometimes they have those, you know, like uh, copper brushes or whatever else. That'll stand up to this a bit better, but I wanted to go ahead and test this. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I'll film a little bit on my phone for you so you guys can see exactly what we're working with here. And to be perfectly honest with you, I don't know if this is gonna, how this is gonna work on this. I, I'm not expecting much. Again, with a more aggressive brush, I think it'll work well. With that nylon brush, I don't know if it's gonna be enough to cut through this. Um, again, so with that, you may wanna go with like the McCulloch version, which I haven't tested that one, but it does come with this, the uh, more aggressive brushes or just with a larger unit. But the whole benefit of this thing is it's so easy, so compact and easy to work with. So let's go ahead and try it. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna go ahead and hold the unit in my left hand, use this piece in my right hand so I can actually get in here and try and fine tune some stuff. So I'm gonna go right here. Hopefully you guys can see this. Here, let me grab another video again. Right up here. So we're gonna hit one of those. 
one strip all the way up, all the way down, and see how it looks. Here we go. Again, I'm going to pre-treat it a little bit, just to loosen everything up, and I'm going to go ahead and start scrubbing. All right, so that looks so much better already. So, so much better. So as you guys can see, that's the one that I hit. So from here, all the way up, all that buildup, all that stuff is gone. Um, you know, there's still some heavier, yeah, you can see there. So, I mean, obviously I could just wipe that up now, but there is some heavier stuff that, again, just a, a more aggressive brush would do the job, no problem. But overall, that is way better. And here you go. So. You can see the whole back end. I actually hit this one previously and this one a little bit just to test the spot. But I went from there, here are the first ones I cleaned and then all the way through here. So again, not perfect, right? But significant, significant difference. So I'm really, really happy with that. Now let's go ahead and move down here because we have grease buildup um, all through here. So let's see how that does. All right guys, ready to hit this grease. Fire it on. A little agitation. Definitely cutting through it. So hopefully you guys can see that. Definitely doing a good job. It's taking a little bit more. This grease is you know thick and stuck on, so it's taking a little bit more agitation. Again, I don't know if this brush is the right choice for this, but it's definitely doing the job. All right, let's go ahead and mop that up really quickly, just with a microfiber towel. That's so nasty. All right, so that's where we're at currently. I mean, you can see scrubbing over, I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Right here, I'm scrubbing it. It's not coming up. So that steam really did a good job of cleaning all that up. Obviously there's some stuff here um, that I, I don't know. You know, this, is, this thing's been here since we bought the house, so I don't know how, well, last time it was actually cleaned, but significant improvement. All right, so final thoughts on this Grant's 1200 watt handheld uh, steam cleaner available at Harbor Freight. Uh, go get one. I think it, for 35 bucks, guys, it does everything you would want it to at an insane price. Yeah, it's missing some features, uh, longer runtime being the biggest one. But honestly, for what was it, eight and a half ounces of water, 250 mils of water that went in, we got eight minutes of runtime. It's, I mean, that's pretty good, right? Nice dry steam, really, uh, really effective little unit. Um, one thing that I would say is the button, again, you know, the actual trigger could be easier to pull. Uh, is it a big deal when you're actually using it? No, it didn't bother me very much then, just when I was trying to hold it to see how long the runtime was. So, uh, but again, it is, it does take a little bit. Other than that, I think it's a fantastic unit. I highly recommend it. Um, if you guys are interested and want to see more reviews like this one, uh, regarding these handheld steamers, let me know. I'll buy a bunch and compare them all side by side. Um, but again, 35 bucks available at your local Harbor Freight. Uh, fantastically unit. So that's it for today's video, guys. Please make sure to like the video. Make sure you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and we'll see you on the next one.